Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Um, as already indicated yesterday, I'm currently giving consideration to the idea that the low already is in for Bitcoin. Now, again, I'm giving consideration. It's not my primary expectation yet because we haven't seen the first um, major price level um, yeah, to be broken, which would invalidate the downtrend yeah, in, in this current form. Um, but yeah, I'm giving consideration to it, or at least that this is a very tradable low um, that can help us to go higher, even if it just is a recovery that might not take us to new all-time highs. However, um, it's a bit too early to talk about that, but I'm giving consideration that this here might have been the low. Reason for that is that, um, yeah, Bitcoin obviously came into uh, even briefly dropped below the target area that I formulated back in November. So this was between 28.6 and 20K. So very, very uh, important actually, a very important level. Um, we can see that actually within um, the last week, let me just actually check where the weekly candle close for Bitcoin was. Um, yeah, this is the current week. So yesterday, obviously, we closed actually back in this price range. So this, I find this very, very interesting that we actually closed within my target area the weekly. So, you know, in, in all of this sort of adding together that we came into the target area, we made that significant low on the higher time frame, then on the lower time frames as well. You know, when we came into that target area that I formulated back in November, December, then I switched to really short time frame wave counting, and even that led us here to further lower prices. Up here, it was very interesting. Up here, the general sentiment was still of a lot of people that the low has already been in here and that we are going to go up from here. Whereas I told you all the time that this structure is a nightmare and would not be the foundation for new all time highs. Then, as expected, we moved down lower, came to the next sideways range. Again, where I told you that here we have to take consideration to the uh, give consideration to the fact that it will still go lower because here we had a wave three low. This was a wave four high. So you're still waiting for the wave five low, which happened. Um, and even this wave five low, we could count five waves down. So whenever you can count five waves down, it means something is complete. And the impulsive reaction to the low here that we've seen yesterday gives at least um, food for thought yeah, and can uh, build builds, uh, currently a case that the low indeed might have been in. We can count here already a first impulse up as I showed you in the previous videos. So that is the first indication that the downtrend is over, that we can count an impulsive move up in a leading diagonal here. After that five wave move was complete, which I highlighted as the purple wave one. We've come down in a wave A, we moved up in an overshooting wave B, and we've come down here currently in a wave C, which I think is not finished yet. But there's two ways of looking at this. The first way is that indeed we um, have to make a lower low here in a wave C because the wave one was complete. So we are still in the wave two. In the wave two, in this C wave of the wave two, we should actually get at least to the level of the wave A at 19,600, sort of, okay? Um, the other scenario would be that all of this here was already in some way the ABC, and I would probably need to go to the lower time frame to actually see that. Let's just take a look. Um, but it's very difficult, isn't it? I mean, we could count this as the wave A, very difficult. I wouldn't be a friend of that, but possible that this was already the wave two, that we are already now in the wave three and that this here purely was a wave one. Yeah, maybe this was a wave one, um, which we can count again in a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and that we are now, um, this was just sort of the, the first wave of that third wave. Let me just take that out. So in the sense that the wave two was already done, right? But if this really is the wave three already in purple, then this needs to go now. Um, now, yeah, <laughs> I mean now, you know, it needs to start. If it doesn't, very likely this is still the wave two ongoing. And uh, this would actually be my expectation that this here is um, 
that we are still waiting for the wave C. But um, yeah, this is obviously the possibility in this bullish scenario that we're waiting for the wave C. So all I'm doing here at the moment is just to track this movement, um, which can indeed yeah, lead to a further breakout, which means that we would be, we're very close here to forming a low in a wave two and we start moving and um, additional yeah, support for the case of a breakout would be the move above 21,334. And for me, a very good confirmation would be the move above 23,295. Um, and that is currently what we're looking at here. Yeah? And this hasn't really changed. It's a bit of a quiet day um, because the US market is obviously closed. I think tomorrow we will see some more volatility. There's probably gonna be some significant movement for now. Bitcoin is still below the high of the wave four here the wave E high of the triangle at 21,334. And it is really important to break this level to invalidate um, a further downside scenario, yeah? I mean, this doesn't mean that all downside scenarios are invalidated, but we would invalidate one of the very likely ones, which would be that, I don't wanna confuse you, but which would mean that what came down here was only a wave, again, a wave one of a wave five. This here is currently a wave two of a wave five will then come down in a wave three of a wave five, move up in a wave four of a wave five, and then come down in a wave five of a wave five around maybe $12,000 or something. Um, but if we make it above the wave E high, above 21,334, um, yeah, it would be a good indication, actually confirmation that this move as it is, is not possible anymore. So yeah, so any further upside um, and across above these two resistance levels, will further bolster the idea that the low has already been in. Um, it's not guaranteed, you know, and my primary expectation until we break those levels is still that we go down further because we, we are technically still in a downtrend, yeah? And we have to focus on certain rules here and I have to give you a clear um, perspective. And my perspective is at the moment that we still go lower, but I make you aware of the situation that an impulse is evolving here and that this could become something, but it is too early to really confirm it. So we're really at a juncture here and um, putting a low in place is not just one price point, it's a process. Yeah, and this is all part of that process to currently evaluate if the low was already in or not. Certainly interesting at the moment, certainly interesting, and I'll keep you updated about Bitcoin. Um, Volume isn't really there today. The problem is US markets closed. You know, there is just a bank holiday or public holiday in the US. So there isn't a lot of movement going on. So yeah, still waiting here for the price actually uh, in this C wave to go into the target area. And again, this is between $18,800 and $19,580. Okay, so that is my view about Bitcoin at the moment. So hopefully you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.